tonight from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Cam Newton and the New England Patriots taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the New England Patriots, led by their six foot five veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile. That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun. Because when they score a touchdown, some fans going to get lucky and get the game ball. Michelle, his first carry. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They'll run out of the gun with Michelle. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Michelle, the ball carrier. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Out of the gun, Newton. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He was brought down. Levante David in on the tackle. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. James White's first carry. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. From the gun, here's Newton. 
And that is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who have helped him <laughs> along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy that springs for the good stuff. Brady now on first down. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 12 yards there and a first down. These guys hooking up right away here, Charles. Two plays, both passes in his direction, and both catches. And in our time together, have we not seen the tight end position continue to develop yeah. in the passing game? You know, at some point, we may not call them tight ends anymore. We may have to come up with an entirely different way of designating that position and what they do on the field because when I hear tight end, I think of the old school, hand in the dirt, blocking on the line of scrimmage. These guys are much more receiver than they are guys who are going to move into passing in the running game. And nine at the 35 yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 40. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the Patriots' 41-yard line. Second and 11 at the 41. From the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate, and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First and goal from the six. Now Jones, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. First carry now for the backup, LaShawn McCoy. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Scotty Miller there to make the grab as his guys are on the board first here tonight. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Bradley. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Now Bolden on the return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Mike, 
They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 24-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. First down, Brady. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. This is Jones. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. Punt given three on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 45. A shotgun snap for Newton. Sideline throw. That's caught. Julian Edelman. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Operating from the gun, Newton. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And they are into field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, Newton. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Patriots 3. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25-yard line. Time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from, who else? Tom Brady. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Bucks take over first and 10. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. John Simon that time coming through to make the play. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Another try after the first down sack. Brady, a quick pass here to Godwin. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. On third and long, it's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. For Scotty Miller, incomplete. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. And until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. punt of 38 yards officially and that will come the offense as they take over so here are the Patriots now they get ready for their first possession of half number two and with the way this offense has played thus far to be frank they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 46. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Ryan Izzo, 57 yards, and the Patriots have taken the lead. I know guys who design defenses, they try to prepare for everything. But you ignore the guy who plays tight end at your own peril. Yeah, and he's like having another wide receiver out there sometimes, right? Exactly right, because they're such a matchup nightmare, and they're hybrid guys. Are they receivers? Are they big guys that block? How about the one we just saw there? Catch it and go. Run after catch all the way into the end zone. And it 
cuts through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 20. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 21. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Buccaneer first down. Operating from the gun, Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. Complete. Seven yards to pick up there. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does, because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. Brady now on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McCoy. Brady. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. First down is Brady. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Throwing again. 
Brady. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes the Buccaneer kicker, Matt Gay, from the left hash. It's a 42-yard attempt. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. kicker he has not been called on the entire game he's over there by the net but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say hey go tie the game will you and guess what he comes through i just don't know how they do it i really don't these cats are a different breed from you and me that's a pressure kick but that one was never in doubt as the kicks away. Now Bolden on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 24. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Newton throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there, but it's going to be second down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. again from the 38 on second and 10. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't to throw again. Newton on the left side. A catch by White. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. James White. 
that might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Newton. And that's complete to the tight end, Devin Asiasi. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. To the air again, Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Michelle. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Michelle. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Again, it's Michelle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Hey, that's 
sport deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Roy Wasser now for the point after. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Turn Dare Ogunbowale. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own. So here's Brady and the Bucks trailing 17 10, a minute 24 to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And that'll bring up second down. He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you describe that because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back, sideline to sideline. And he's been fantastic. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis when he was playing Madden. Absolutely. Oh, and oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. And it's Michelle once again. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. Ready. 
And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.